The truth is the federal government has lost control of the budget. Instead of paying for all the new initiatives, whether they're tax cuts, spending increases, all sorts of things that we like, the government's just putting it all on the national credit card. And as a result, our national debt is just going up and up and up. And it's growing faster than the economy. And that's when you know you have a real problem. Everything is going to be squeezed out of the budget. There won't be anything left. The road we are on is a perilous one that ultimately leads to the bankrupting of our country. So we have a crisis on our hands. All Congress has to do for this whole situation to come to a head is nothing. Because every year that they do nothing makes the problem even more unsolvable. We don't seem to have the ability to get along and, and find common ground. Is the government trying to trick you right now? Then the answer is very simply yes. So why is this being swept under the rug? Why is nobody talking about this? Probably because it's not popular. So I've actually been traveling around the country for about four years now, taking the power of zero message to different groups. When you cut taxes, on current generations, you are simultaneously raising them on future generations. It is all driven by spending. Once we have spent a dollar, we've already decided to tax it. The only question is whether we tax it now or we borrow it now and tax it uh, in the future. So to make up for the liabilities that we're incurring with all the promises we've made in social insurance programs, we're going to have to increase substantially the tax rate and perhaps even double it. Now precisely how high it's going to be, you know, there's a lot of room to debate, but people will have to pay more taxes. People's retirement savings are at risk of future higher taxes. Well, qualified plans really do two things. They defer the tax and the tax calculation. Now let that run past your brain real slow. I'm driven by trying to help as many people as I can avoid this disaster that's going to come up in retirement when taxes go up and the market goes down. What are these people going to do if they haven't planned ahead of time?